Good morning. Welcome to the corner of Knit and Tea. This is episode 130. My name is Laura. I'm also known as Fluffy K on Ravelry, Fluffy Kira on Instagram and Twitter. I blog over at the corner of knitandtea.com, and every episode and show notes are posted over there. I have an Etsy shop called the Corner of Knit and Tea, and we have a Ravelry group. Good morning, how are you? It is early in the morning. Well, it's early for me. I don't usually record quite this early. It is 9 a.m. on Sunday, March 26th, and I am recording early because today is a spinning Sunday, so in about an hour I'm going to leave and go have some breakfast with friends, and then we're going to a location about an hour away for spinning. So, um, that is my day pretty much sorted, but I wanted to get in a podcast, so I thought I would um, get up a little early and uh, get it in. I was going to record yesterday, but I wanted to get a little bit more done yesterday on the knitting, so I decided to just hold off and do it today. So I hope that you have had a wonderful week. Mine has been pretty good. A um, little bit busy. We have the quarterly board meetings coming up, and that's always a busy time. Um, and I'm gearing up a little bit on tech editing. I've been advertising myself a little bit more and gotten some great new clients. So I am definitely keeping busy, but still making time to craft. And uh, let's jump right in. This morning I am drinking uh, sweet lemon green tea from the Tea Emporium. I ordered this a while ago. And um, so my tea selections will be a little bit more eclectic for the next several weeks, I'm sure. Um, the deal is that when I, um, I believe I talked about the fact that I had a mouse at my desk a few weeks ago, I packed up my entire tea drawer and brought it home. So now I have a million things to choose from. Previously, I had taken most of my new teas um, to work because that's where I drink them during the day and then where I can think about what I want to write for my reviews. Um, so this one is Sweet Lemon Green Tea from the Tea Emporium, and it says delicate Japanese green tea with lemon peel and lemongrass, light and grassy with a hint of lemon. So, um, and this actually does make a great iced tea. I am drinking it hot today, um, and I am drinking it in my tea time mug, and I won't repeat it just in case the language sensors are on, but this was a fun mug that I got at Anthropology um, a year or two ago. I could not resist. So that is my green tea with lemon. And that is delicious. It's super lemony. Um, I do kind of save this one for if I have colds or allergies or a sore throat um, because it's great for that. So, but it would also be a great iced tea during the summer. So let's talk about the knits. Um, I finished something this week. I finished my slippers, um, the ones that I was making for me. This is the Bev Galeskis Felted Clog pattern. Um, they are knit in Cascade 220. Um, mine are in uh, Ireland and then in Heathers, so they're green and purple. Um, and I made, so I knit these on a slightly smaller needle than it calls for. So I made um, the medium size for me and they felted up beautifully. Um, I had to go to a laundromat yesterday to felt these um, because my uh, new washer doesn't have an agitator in the middle and you need an agitator. So um, these I did at the laundromat. I did two wash cycles and about 15 minutes in the dryer just to kind of um, make them not quite so wet. Um, but that kind of finished them up and these ones are for me and then I didn't knit these this week but I had been waiting to knit mine so that I could take my husband's so his are here and he has Ireland on the bottom and then um, birch bark on the top so these are now ready to go of course it's um, spring heading into summer so I don't know how much we'll need these in the next little bit um, but this is a favorite pattern, and my hope is that they wear well. Um, the ones that I was wearing are the ones that I knit for my husband 13 years ago, and he shrunk them, so I have been wearing them forever now. Um, his tend to last about a year. I'm hoping maybe because these felted really well. Um, I haven't had as much luck felting in the, even my previous washer. Even though it had an agitator, it didn't have like a full one. Um, so I'm hoping that these are going to last for a while. But um, this is my finished object for the week, and then these are ready to go. I'm going to take some photos and then let my husband add them. So that is that. Um, two projects currently on the needles. 
The first is, of course, my um, Find Your Fade Shawl by Drea Renee Knits. That's Andrea Mowry. And uh, I made a lot of progress on this this week because I mostly just knit on this. Um, I am almost done. I have a few more rows of um, the fourth, uh, the fifth color, sorry. Yeah, fifth color. <laughs> and then I'm getting ready to head into the sixth. So um, remember, I started with the very light. Um, this is kind of a speckle um, from Lammy Toes Yarns. And then this was Susie Parker Yarns in Tangerine Twist. This was Hedgehog Fibers in um, all that. This was um, a Knit Circus uh, yarn that I actually over dyed um, with my own colors. And then this is uh, the fiber, it's not the fiber company, the fiber seed maybe, and this is Sprout. So um, my final color is um, Supernatural Yarns. Um, and this is Malfoy Manor, and it is going to go in right up here. And as you can see, it is black, um, and then it's got shades of burgundy, and then a little bit of this kind of green yellowy color, um, which I think will be great for my final color. So it's going to be dark, um, and I am just a few rows away from adding that in. So I need to wind this up after I finish podcasting today. And my goal is to have this finished by Friday, by the end of the month. So my goal is to have it finished and block it and then be able to show it to you and wear it at the next podcast um, because I have a bunch of things I would like to do in April and um, so I want to get this off the needles and I want to wear it. Um, and as others have said, it is pretty big. Um, I don't think I'm going to have any problems um, with, with this not being big enough for me. Um, and I only did six colors, so I moved where some of the color placement is, um, but that's fine with me. So that is my Find Your Fade. And um, like I said, I am getting ready to hopefully finish it this week, and that will be awesome. So um, that is what's on my needles and taking up most of my focus. Um, the second project that I have been working on, I only had a very little bit done last week, and this week you'll be able to see more. Um, these are the Cape Cod Socks by Naughty Gnome Crafts. That is, oops, I have ends sticking out everywhere um, because clearly I have not woven my ends in yet. Um, this is by Sarah Peterson, and this is a fun, um, it's just a textured pattern. She wrote it for speckled yarns, which is why I think um, it it works lovely, and I am working on it. And then I decided to do a contrast yarn for the heel, mostly because um, this is the color. This is Lamy Toes Sweet, um, Sweet Pea Sport in Sweet Tooth. And um, this is what I used for the first color in my Find Your Fade, and I was concerned that I would not have um, enough left. This is also a sport weight, um, so I decided to go with contrasting heels and toes. And um, I wasn't super thrilled about it um, from the beginning because I thought, oh, I have black. And then I was like, oh, I have some purple, but I don't have a lot of colors in um, sport weight. And then I realized that I had this leftover bugga. This is the Sanguine Griffin bugga in the color Walnut Husk Fly. And it is the perfect kind of yellowy, browny orange. It picks up um, the colors that are in the um that are already in the sock yarn skein it's kind of hard to tell I, when i take instagram photos hopefully it will show better um but it picks up some of the orange and um kind of yellowy browny speckles that are in the sock and it is like a perfect match and these socks are making me so so happy so i have the foot and the toe um my hope is that i'll finish the first sock by the time we next talk and um, then I am fine carrying over the second sock into next month. Um, I am going to be working on some design projects next month, um, which means that a lot of them will probably live at home because I'll be working with patterns and testing and um, potentially ripping. And so I will need something to carry with me, something easy and um, non-taxing for lunch times at work and um, various other things. So um, having a pair of socks on the go is never, ever a problem. So that's what I am working on with these. Again, these are the Cape Cod Socks by Naughty Gnome Crafts. They are a great pattern. I'm enjoying knitting it. Um, pretty simple. Don't need the pattern the whole time because um, it just kind of alternates through the same 16 rows. 
Um, and if you are interested in a fun pattern to add a little bit of texture to your socks, this one is great. So yeah, that's my second knit. So cup of tea and we'll go to the spins. I think this one's going to be a pretty short podcast this week, which is fine because um, I got to get my booty moving. So last week I showed you a super beautiful braid um, from Spun Right Round. It was a Rambouillet and it was called Olivia. Um, and it had blues and pinks and purples and um, some yellow in it and some white. And I spun it up. I actually spun it fractal. And this is how it came out. It came out absolutely beautifully. I have lots of sections where there is two color barber pole um, interspersed with some sections um, where the colors line up. So little solid sections. Um, I do not know what kind of yardage I got, um, especially because Rambouillet um, tends to poof up when it dries and this is still a little bit wet. Um, so I am not exactly sure. It looks like probably um, a sport-ish weight, maybe closer to a DK. Again, because Rambouillet puffs up. Um, but my guess is I got, um, gosh, I really hate to estimate because I'm always wrong. But my guess is maybe around 350 yards, give or take some. Um, and this one is really pretty, really fun. I'm going to take some photos and it will probably go up in the shop tomorrow. I need to wait for it to finish drying so I can get accurate measurements. Um, but it is just super fun. So if you are interested in this one, that will be in the shop for you. Next up on the spinning wheel, this is another one for the shop. I went into my stash and pulled out. This is a Tinkle and a Glint by Hello Yarn. It has got some deep reds, some browns, and then just a little bit of that sort of scummy yellow green and a little bit of peachy orange. Um, and so this should be kind of dark and moody, but I love the reds and kind of the magentas and browns in there. It is just a kind of a chocolate cherry color with a few other colors in there. So I'm taking that to Spinning Saturday today, so I wanted to show that to you um, because I'm going to break into it and get started spinning. This is Superwash Targi, um, which should be fun to spin. Targi is another one that kind of puffs up after washing, and it's Superwash, um, so that would mean that this might be good socks when I get done with it. So we'll just see how it spins. And this is um, another, the last couple things that I have spun have been more recent acquisitions. This is another where I'm digging into my stash and um, trying to spin from stash. And this one is from May, 2015. So um, that is what I will be doing with that one. So I think that's all I have for you today. Like I said, I'm sorry, it is super, super short. I thought I had more to talk about, but I guess I'm also kind of rushing through things. Um, I am looking forward to April. I am getting excited about designing. Um, I'm going to be designing a baby blanket. Um, and then I also signed up for, um, if you're at all familiar with Aroha Knits, um, she is doing a sort of an Instagram design challenge. She previously did one called Five Shawls in Five Days. Um, and she uh, taught the basics of like different shawl shapes and every day everybody knit kind of a mini shawl, maybe like 15, 20 rows, just to explore different shawl shapes and where you could put your increases and decreases. Um, I didn't do it, but it looked like fun. And so she is doing um, another design challenge. It is a 10 day, it starts April 3rd. You can go to her website and sign up for free. Um, and she will just send you the prompts and then you can share your progress on Instagram. It is about designing um, something a little bit bigger. Um, her suggestion was that you stick to a rectangular um, wrap or a uh, cowl. Um, and I believe what she's gonna do is go through some of the little steps of putting a design together such that when you're done with her 10 steps, you will have a pretty good idea what you want your design to look like and sort of be able to take it from there to completion. Um, and since I am thinking about designing a cowl for um, the yarn that I showed you last week, uh, I thought it would be a good idea to sign up and uh, work along with it. So that is what I'm doing. I'm sure there will be more socks next month as well uh, to keep me busy outside of designing. Um, I'm sure I will need a few projects that are a little bit mindless. So I guess that's about it. I will let you go for this week. I hope that you have a wonderful week with lots of crafting. Um, and I will say, as I always do, happy knitting, happy spinning, 
happy sipping, and I'll see you next time. Bye!